Um, for all of you just joining us, we've been working on our secret Aphex uh, twin collab. Go ahead, play that track, Marsh. Play that track. Play that shit. Oh God, play that shit, Marsh. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to report that once again, I called it and I was right. So. It- I did everything right, right and right. they indicted me. I did everything um, right. Um, well, welcome to another episode of so Fear s- and. Do we start over? Yep. Isn't that the wrong screen? Yep. Start over. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't have to start over. Uh, I think I think March can fix that. Uh, he did it last time. I don't know how, but it it, it is somehow recoverable, right? Okay. It's recoverable. I um, was. Oh, if it would be scuffed, we can just start over. No, it's like okay, we're just starting over. Welcome to Fear and um Austin Grievances. I was trying to talk about pedophiles. Oh. Um, oh, good. yeah, Austin Grievances is what we started off with. Which, uh, all things considered, let's be real, podcast is better without them. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we cut the dead weight this week. Damn, you just we, spark we, notes. We, yeah, we have yeah. to. We yes. have to. It's like, God damn! Remember all of our jokes that we just did. <laughs> you just, you just, yeah. just mostly cut, about Austin. Cut to the beef. Yeah, cut to the beef is exactly what. Uh, who who was the Minnesota Vikings playing against? Oh, uh, they're playing Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh huh. That's what the Buccaneers did they to cut the Vikings O line. Damn. Yeah. That was a spicy burn. Idiot. Yeah. Austin. Austin's not here today because he is watching the football game with his dad. Yep. Yeah. Which is lame um, and, and ridiculous. But anyway. It's kind of cute. No, it's only because <clears throat> you are also a fan of a, a team that is a perpetual loser and have a, a deep addiction to it, to your fandom. I don't. He's not. You're, he's lying. <laughs> what did I do? Why did you look at her? <laughs> he made this up. Happy birthday, Will. Will is it's turning. Will's birthday. Will's <laughs> this turning. is so hard to <clears throat> just talk about all this stuff. Yeah, we're just like, Will's turning 24. Yeah. Will's turning 24. Yeah, 24 is a big year. I turn 25 next year. It's when I can finally rent a car. It's a big year for me. Yeah. He's had bad luck on his birthdays in the past. Oh, yeah. We covered that. Yeah. <laughs> so God, we lost a lot. Damn. Okay, we're doing such a shit job. We are doing such a bad right. job. Right, talk like you've never talked before. Okay, like no, let's never... talk about something new. Let's just, yeah. what's new? Let's talk um, about cast. Or are you under an NDA? Oh, right, that, that, oh, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's cast? Coffeezilla, so, shouts out the goat, is doing an expose on the people we used to work for on the original version of Fear and Molding. Yeah. Oh, the so, people that scammed you guys. You mean, yeah. yeah, the people that paid me in fucking shoes. Well, they technically paid I mean, us but like cool. a minuscule amount. Also, if you remember, and then that went into the Coachella I, funds. Yes. Marsh, will you keep a tab? Oh, oh, I have a good story. Yeah. Coachella fund. This motherfucker rents a house. And this this shit bag that's our friend brought oh two girls, my and God. they took the other main bedroom, and I had to sleep to in be, a fucking bunk bed okay, in a uh, house I, I know used and a you year of cash, and you fucking yeah. paid for it with cash money. Well, I paid literally the lion's share. I didn't of that. know that they never paid anything. Yeah, no, the girls actually did. The girls actually did end up paying. Uh, it was <laughs> our friend who did not pay. <laughs> That's funny. Which is insane. He he brought these two random girls with us to Coachella to yeah. like stay at this house that I yeah. like paid for the lion's share of regardless. And I was like, yeah. yeah, whatever, we'll do it. And Will's Will was like, yeah, let's just put the cast money because it was like six thousand dollars what they gave between us after us. between both of us after a year of doing ad reads every single fucking episode. Yep. Um and and YouTube videos that what? had like how hundreds you, of thousands, millions I, of views. Can I ask? How the fuck did you get swindled so badly? I have no... I think they just straight up... I feel like it's pretty easy to do to him. <laughs> yeah, well, that is true. But also... I feel like I could do it. Also, uh, one, it's easy to swindle me. And two, I think they just literally were controlling, like, how much revenue we were generating. So it was, like, very hard uh, to track. So you, they were right, just, like... So they could yeah. just straight up be like, yeah, we gave you, you six grand bucks, because yeah. you only made $6,000 worth of ad revenue. Yeah. Which is fucking ludicrous. It's they not were, real. There's sh- no yeah, shot. They were scamming. Yeah. Scamming. Um, they were scammers. They were but, scamming. But what ended up happening is uh, Theo Vaughn, I think, talked to Ethan Klein, as a matter of fact, um, a co host on my other podcast. And uh, after that, he came out with a video uh, talking about how he got scammed by Cast Media. 
Let's and it, totaling it. totaling four million dollars doesn't matter. Oh no my god! Way. Not just him, like collectively. Do you think that's what we're due? No, 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 no. <laughs> collectively, he thinks like the people that he talked to, it totals oh. four million. But like, it probably is. Damn, I I bet they I bet they scammed us for like at least a hundred thousand bucks. I don't know how much they scammed us for, but they definitely did. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You guys got swindled in your faces. Yeah, I mean, I'm yes, not, cutie. We got swindled in our in faces. Your faces. But the point was like, the podcast was never like a money making operation. I just hated that we had to do ad reads in general. And I more so wanted to do it. So I had like. And that's why this episode is brought to you by the good people at Domino's. Domino's. Oh, I wish we had a Domino's sponsor. Brand. That'd be pretty fire. Yeah, Domino's we eat would be Domino's fire. every episode if they yeah. give us a sponsor. <laughs> Domino's. Domino's, if you're listening to this, the CEO <laughs> never said the N word. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the greatest yeah. slogan ever. Dominoes. We never said the N word. Yeah. And it's just just two guys high fiving yeah. on game day. Yeah. It's like Papa John's. Can you say that really yeah. about Papa John's? Can you? Can't yeah. say that about Papa John's, the big papa. Oh, can we listen to a little I bit? I want to listen to Theo. It's like nine minutes long. Jesus oh, Christ. Is there a condensed? But here, like go to like 30 seconds in where he just like starts talking about Sticking what in the illegal. In the legal space, I want to talk about legal uh, something <laughs> that has been tough for. It's. I want to talk about something. Um, okay. We, our podcast was defrauded. We were stolen from. <gasps> um, we were taken advantage of. A lot of ways to say it. Uh, the company that did it is Cast Media, and the man that did it is Colin Thompson. And I'm going to put his picture in here. Damn. Um, oh, let's put his picture in here. Look at his stupid ass dye job. Oh my god! Um, if I knew that's what he looked like, I wouldn't have signed up. <laughs> I just realized. Oh no! Do it again. Test it again. This has nothing to do with a set. This is like a, a software issue. You're right. We are getting a set, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to cast. I have an idea about that. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let's buy me a house. And keep, then it, we'll keep, it, the... keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep keep that part of. Sure. We'll get there. Let, let's do the. Let's make one. Well, you know, you owe me money from cast. Let's do one I've collective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defrauded Let's, out of. I thought the yeah. VMAs were today. They're not until Tuesday. Because Taylor's going to the VMAs and I want to see her fit. And it's not until Tuesday. Stupid as hell. I was excited. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Sequoia. Asana <laughs> <laughs> is literally begging. How does it feel, <laughs> dumb bitch? Yeah, that's right. Do you know how often I start a story and your dumb ass comes in and starts talking? It's called content. I was just doing that to prove something. I didn't, I didn't mean anything that I said. I like Besides this. him being a dumb bitch. Oh. I am going to Sequoia. And the VMAs are on Tuesday. But I was just looking for something to cut him off because it felt good. Come. I'm ready. How does that make you feel? Good. It makes me like feel when you good. when you see Taylor Swift like in a sexy ass outfit. Like, what is that? How does that? What does that Wait, do you're for you? You're pivoting to that. Um, it makes me feel like oh, go queen. <laughs> hey, that's what it makes you feel like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. That was god roll. Oh. I'm sorry. Go queen. What if you see if you see a great outfit? What do you say? Oh, who's wearing it? Uh, freaking Willie Nelson. Willie what? Nelson. <laughs> he shows up to a party. He's wearing a great outfit. You're going to be like, oh my God. Um, I, I would say who dressed that old man? <laughs> what? Why Willie Nelson? he doesn't like anybody. He, what? He, who do you like? I love so many people. Who? I'm the biggest nerd. Who? Sauce Gardner. Yeah, Sauce. He always dresses well, though. That's your homie, too. Yeah, but you see him you and, you go, and he, his I outfit go, is I sick. I go, it's standard. Because okay. he's consistently excellent. So, okay. okay. Uh, so was Taylor's web? Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, it's the same thing. Why do you get excited you then? You just void it. You just void it. You boyified it. This is misogyny, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just don't understand it. I don't understand what goes on in your mind when you feel excited for another human being dressing well. I like outfits. And like looking forward to her dressing well. I just want to see her outfit. Which is why I'm trying to like understand your, what's Not going on in your outfit. fucking mind like palace. Even the gala. I want to see everyone's outfits. I'm excited. I like outfits. I showed you mine. Yeah. Don't, don't leak. You don't even, you don't even have one. Uh, I will play off of his outfit. Well, it's going to be amazing if he shows up. Let's be honest. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, can we be on, can we be real? Can we be real? Can we be real for a moment? Yeah. I will not give my take on this. I'll let the three of you sound off. Am I the best dressed streamer? 
I'm making sure I'm well. giving you a fair answer. Yep. Your your style has improved dramatically over the course of the years that I've known you, and now it's very good. Yeah, I think so. You're one of the only people that didn't show up in a men's warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. The bar is low, yeah, I and so. I cleared it. Yeah. Yep. There yeah. was a time and place. Yep. Where, over an extended period of time, I dressed rather poorly. Because I was given up on life oh. during COVID. And oh I feel my like, God, I start to press. And, and I think Depression. that like carried over to people hunting older fits of mine. And some of them are going to be hits. Some of them are going to be misses. It is what it is. It's not 100%. I'll admit, I've made some fashion faux pas. I don't try to dress nice, so there's no expectation. Yeah. Um, yeah. You don't. Well, good. okay, well, you're well, always try. putting it on. Really? I don't know how the fuck you yeah. are you just are not wrong. even. You just literally just flex, she just flexed on us. Uh, I don't even try to look I this just, good. I, bitch. Really I just feel am. Like you guys are being nice to me, so the me the YouTube comments aren't mean to you. You think we read the YouTube comments? <laughs> what are you insane? It's that's you and him. Uh, we are what? on the internet. The worse I am to you, the more accolades I will receive. Yeah. Also, you're a woman. Did you forget? Yeah, you're know your place. Know your place. Fine. Sorry, my brain's not working today since I think I have cancer. Brain. I am nice to you because we are friends. Damn yeah. it. I almost messaged you last night. Not you. Why didn't you? Well, okay. If you guys don't, Ludwig and I live in a gated neighborhood, and Ludwig was in Paris, and all of a sudden the security guards are driving around, and they're like, "Hey, there's." Did you need the authority? Well, the security guards are driving around and they pull up. What would up. Ludwig have done in that situation anyway? <laughs> you should still be the call. Well, <laughs> Even if he's at don't home. Don't do that. Even if he's at don't home. Do they were like, they were like, hey, there's been a massive increase in home invasions. Oh. Like you need to like lock up tonight. And I was like, I'm alone. Can I'm we buy scared. you some weapons? Uh, we should do that. You know my house is just littered with weapons. I, th I thought you only have a taser gun. Oh, I got. So many weapons. Me too. I got I two weapons. axes. I got a compound bow. I got a taser. I got a stun gun. I don't have enough weapons. I got knives. I, I got pepper spray. Well, and then I go on the Citizen app. So I pull up Citizen app. And Big it's mistake. Like, it's like, because I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so scary. I go on Citizen app. Two hours ago, home invasion reported like 50 feet from you. Oh, shit. And it's like. Oh my God. And then like someone in the comments, cause once stuff comes on citizen app, someone in the comments was like, yeah, like this keeps happening in this neighborhood. Like, yeah. like when people are home and it's do, like, do we have kind of like a Peter Parker, Mary Jane thing going on though, where you don't call me for me. You only call me for, <laughs> for, the, for, for the super version of me. No. Now that I'm saving people. Now I don't, I'm about to get a phone no, call. I just, I didn't want to bother you. Bother me. It was like at one We're in the friends. morning. I know, but it'd be like a thing and you'd have to, you'd be disrupted and I don't want to disrupt oh, you. Call me if you ever feel weird or scared. Well, I called, I called slime and slime couldn't oh, come. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed, I just needed someone in the house. So if I get, there could have been an burglars. active invasion and slime would have been like, I'm at Dave and Buster's <laughs> right now and I got a high <laughs> score run and I cannot. Slime would be playing video games and yeah. just not here <laughs> that we've been broken into. Uh, I called Slime. He couldn't come. I called, uh, I like messaged a few people. And at any rate, Radstads, Ludwig's, uh, one of Ludwig's editors and friends, he came over and stayed uh, at the house. He has guns, doesn't he? I've seen his. Uh... It's like one of those. Yeah. Well, but he came and stayed. It was very nice of him. That's him. Yeah. It is a thousand degrees in your house. Uh, I know. Unfortunately, uh, because I was, because I was gone in Mexico, I didn't have the AC on and I turned it on earlier today. And it still hasn't like I'm fully too stupid. It hasn't fully I'm stupid. I don't know how to open this goddamn window every single time. There's I a try. clasp. Turn it. No, no, no. Before you turn it, there's a clasp that you need to unhook. Yep, there it is. That would have fooled any of us, cutie. It still doesn't go. Okay, maybe maybe try it again. The clasp. Okay, there you go. Now you got it. You got. Who designed that thing? You are hey, natural and beautiful. Yeah. Natural. It's natural. It's beautiful. It's, beautiful. it's cutie. Yeah. By the way, cutie has a new nickname. Cinderella. Cutie Wait, why? Cinderella. Why? Because it's football. Because I'm a quarterback. I guess. Oh, because she's quarterback in this podcast. No, just I'm just football. a quarterback she's in football. football girl, oh, you just, I just play football. <laughs> why are you trying to make this happen? Uh, this is a football podcast. Football. Taylor Swift is not 
of Jets fans. Stop trying to make this a Taylor Swift podcast as a football podcast. This is a Taylor Swift podcast. I'll uh, tell you this. What? Jets won a Super Bowl. Taylor might flip. That <laughs> seems like a front runner to me. Why, why would she? I don't think she cares. She cares. I don't. Cutie, you're the I, foremost authority on this. I'm sorry. We have to refer to what you, uh, what, what you're the expert. Would. Is there a Taylor, team in ten, Pennsylvania? Who plays in Pennsylvania? We're just gonna oh my God! No, no, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! She's oh. fragile. She's fragile. She's what? Fragile. She's fragile. She's How fragile. do you not know there's don't. a team in Pennsylvania? Who are they? There's not one, two. <laughs> Who? The Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia oh, Eagles, the, the Eagles. Philadelphia team, and then also Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, the Steelers. Pittsburgh's in Pennsylvania? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. She's fragile. She's having a hard time. I thought Pittsburgh was in Chicago. What kind of Mormon <laughs> Wait, juju <laughs> were they teaching you at school? Uh, what did they teach you? Giddy, Wait, I frequently made the is, same mistake. I'm always like Pittsburgh, Chicago. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. oh, she thinks Chicago, Chicago. I know. Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> uh, okay, what are you? What were you gonna say? What's the? What team is? Isn't Steelers black and yellow? Black and yellow. Mm-hmm. Wow. There you go. You got one. Good job. That isn't. Now we're in Pennsylvania. Her. You're doing too <laughs> much. <laughs> you can't do right today. It's natural she, and it's beautiful. Taylor is from Pennsylvania, so I'd assume she'd like one of those. Yeah, she likes the But Eagles. she also loves... She likes the Eagles. She loves New York, so she might like the Jets. Interesting. <laughs> loves We're just going to... I'm not well, going to you know, do... It's like a New Jersey... Do. Jets is like a New Jersey team, technically. I'm not going to do what I always do and talk about the Jets. We're just going to move right past We're it. We're just going to move right past it? We talked okay. about cast. Uh, what No, he happened? needs to finish. I cut him off because I wanted to. What? Oh, you cut off uh, Theo cut, Vaughn. It's been I, like 20 minutes. I know, but he wants to complain more about cast. You can complain about cast. What do you want to say he about He likes complaining about cast. More than well, you. I did get paid in shoes. He got paid he in did. shoes. They're getting investigated by CoffeeZilla. Yes. yes. Cass is getting investigated. Uh, they basically withheld funds from a lot of content creators. What do you think they did with it? Just kept it? Embezzled it. I don't know. Fucking shoved it in their butts. So what Who happens knows what people do when with CoffeeZilla money? investigates them? He does an investigation and then like... It's a YouTube video. And then everybody goes, it's a <laughs> fucking banger. And then goes, oh, and then that's No, actually, it? some of the people that he has investigated do end up getting, uh, you know, SEC violations and things really? of that nature for crypto. So who knows? I mean, YouTubers that have investigated the Mormon mom, uh, mom of eight, passengers of eight or whatever the fuck it's called. What? Oh, I actually, <laughs> I don't know any of this drama. Do you know it? Yes. Uh, oh, so yes. There's, this, there's this Mormon mom <laughs> and dad. Dad's a professor at BYU, but he's currently distant from the family for the past couple of years, if I'm not mistaken. Drama. Um, the mom is like hyper abusive. And she's actually, she is a mommy vlogger. And she also has like a separate consulting thing with another uh, part with a partner that she has uh, Mm -hmm. where they are uh, describing pretty much just child abuse. They're describing Mm -hmm. child abuse, but like, I guess uh, masking it as like it's really good advice. Uh, oh. Things such as uh, withholding, <laughs> things such as withholding food from your child for like the entire day. And she openly has talked about it for years. She Muslim? No. Might just be fasting. No, dude, she's Mormon and no, it's oh, not okay. Ramadan. Okay. No. Uh, this is. Uh, Wait, she's, she's Mormon? Yes, yeah, she's Mormon. I there's, missed that part. I'm sorry. Fast Sunday. You fast? No, this isn't. Oh, it's this a fast. isn't a religious thing. Oh. Okay, this isn't. This is not a religious thing. And usually, children okay, other than don't the food, participate. Other than the food. Other than. Um. The food. Yeah. So what happened is like this past uh, week or so. Uh, one of the kids was at a friend's house oh. and, he, and he like escaped and had like visible bruises uh, all he over him. his friend's house? Yes. And had visible bruises all over him and then the neighbor immediately called the police and then they finally were like, oh, oh so my like the God. The mommies had like a pact essentially. Yeah. They were so, all beating the kids together? I don't know if they were all beating the kids together, but That's, it's like aggravated it's, child assault. Maybe they were actually like, I know this sounds- Kid had wounds and they were duct taped. The wounds were duct taped. It yeah. sounds bad, but maybe okay. Maybe Child Fight Club. Oh, that back would be cool. cool. Okay, yeah. no, that would be cool. You're right. I'm in. I'm back that's, in. You yeah, need a lot of kids for that. For, I I I thought you were gonna say something out of pocket. That's actually no, fire. Because like yeah. kids are not content. I am a firm believer that I feel yeah. like kids are mid at doing yeah. content. I feel so like Child Fight Club would be this? sick. It, so these were content creator Mormon. I was so lost Dude, can in you the pull beginning. It up? 
Mom and I was trying to get my through. head around. Well, there's it. a lot of mommy. Mormon what are they called? Mommy bloggers. Mommy. Mommy Mormon bloggers. No, what's the name of this group? Mommy bloggers. Yes. Yeah. Eight passengers' mother leaving children at home alone for days. What is eight passengers? Days after eight passengers is the name of the channel. She has eight children. <gasps> Fox News, thirteen Utah. Yeah. Here we go. So Let's watch this whole thing. Let's news? watch the whole thing. This yeah. is great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's national news now. The reason why we segued into this, by the way, before we get started, uh, the reason why we segued into this is because I was talking about YouTubers who do documentaries and stuff. Yeah. YouTubers have made documentaries on this person for a while now. Friend of the show, <gasps> Jobbery, no made one. one. believed them. Well, they kind of did, but they just like avoided doing anything about it, I think. It's just yeah. like didn't get an, enough attention. Weird. But boom, you know, now all like those guys were fucking Britney. right. Behind the screen. From 2022 shows that neighbors and family raised concerns about the children last year. Oh. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree has the details. Talk like that. Documents obtained has by Fox 13 News show yeah. in September of 2022. In addition to multiple reports from neighbors, Ruby Frankie's oldest daughter, Sherry Frankie, called police out of concern that her sisters and brothers had been left alone for five oh my God. days what? while their mother was in St. George with a friend. Unfortunately, time and time again, I've seen in my career the inhumanity that people have towards their own children or children in general. And, and it just, it highlights the need for us to be ever vigilant for the well-being of children. Ruby Frankie was charged with six counts of felony child abuse last oh. week. After a child climbed out of a window of a southern Utah home and ran to a neighbor's house for food and water, oh my God. describing their wounds, the worst neglect, child and fight malnourishment to be severe. Chris Burbank says, "Yeah, you, you gotta never feed the know kids. What kind so they can fight better be happening water, in your neighborhood." It is an interesting bias that we all have. If the house is nice, if the neighborhood's good, if it's in, you know, certain. Can we part see some of her advice video? Wait, yeah, is, cities, she's actually right, a or certain content creator. We yeah. don't imagine this uh, going millions. on. Frankie was millions. known for her pop Millions of subscribers. Frankie. Oh, yeah, right oh, there. Okay. Yeah. This is her partner. Popular YouTube channel, Eight Wait, Passengers. she's gay? Her no. business partner, oh. Jody Hildebrand, friend. who is oh. involved with a parent business counseling partner. service I'm called Connections. Business partner in her, this is her, this is her Celebrity her plays all sorts of weird games in people's minds. Uh, across the country, right? I mean... Oh, we see it in politics. I won't even leave my cats levels, home right? for a day. <laughs> I couldn't imagine leaving five over kids people. home. That is phenomenal. Frankie's arrest now connected to her YouTube channel being taken down. In a statement oh. to Fox 13, a YouTube spokesperson wrote, quote, we can confirm that we have terminated two channels linked to Ruby Frankie in accordance with our creator responsibility guidelines. So all those kids get taken following away her now? arrest, as well as statements from law enforcement, if a channel owner is accused with clear evidence of a very egregious crime, we may terminate their it's channel so funny. if its content is closely related to the crime, or if the channel it's funny because, like, owner was they've known for years. Like YouTube, guilty. additionally, YouTube knew for years. <gasps> everybody, YouTube, uh, everybody you complain salty about it. Dog. I, I'm sorry, I really himboed up that segment, guys. I didn't know what was going on at all. <laughs> well, I mean, so. Uh, to recap it, I there's a child. They were Muslim, and then I thought they were gay. And I didn't know that they were creators. No, it's there are YouTube horrible. creators. There's a child fight club. And it's a bad child fight club. It's yeah. a bad child fight club because they're mal malnourished. Like you should keep the children well fed if they're gonna if you're gonna make them fight each other. Okay, so she's in jail, and her eight kids are available <laughs> for the fight club. <laughs> Can we save them? Yeah, and I then think repurpose so. them. God, that'd be great content. Come here, babies. Um. um can we watch one of her advice videos? Yeah, I no, it got, they, they got taken like, down. They, said. There's got to be clones. Frankie on the Ruby. Well, there's also did Jobbery. You, did you hear about the other Mormon mommy bloggers that were there? Was like six of them. What? There was three wives and three husbands, and they were all mommy bloggers, and they were all Mormon, and blah blah. blah <laughs> and they would have these swinger parties. Oh. Yeah. And the only rule was like, don't kiss, like. No kissing. Like, so they were butt fucking, but they're not kissing? I'm sure they were like having normal sex. You can kiss and I mean, you can have normal sex without kissing, idiot. Wow. I just... <laughs> I just would never. It's so romantic. I, just, what, I don't... I, don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to... Can I not... No, that's fine. Maybe they, they were butt... Can a boy not dream? Like, what do you mean? Did they fucking. piss on each other? I don't like, know. What kind of weird shit were they... Was, it, they, was there so, sucking? But then what happened... Did they suck penises and, and other things? I think they probably sucked things, but oh. no kissing. So they were kissing penises. God will see that. God will see that. 
So the problem is, is like Ashley and Brittany's husbands, like they like swapped essentially. Like, like okay, drama. Okay, they guess, swang so guess, good like, they stayed. I guess, Judy, like, yeah, Judy, Brit- please yeah. give us the keywords. We need to search this. I need more information. Um, okay, well, let's finish the child abuser. <laughs> no, no, that's then, it. She's going to jail. All right. All right okay. The end. Okay. This e- and YouTubers Google called it ahead it. of time. Mormon, uh, Mormon vlogger swingers. Taylor Frankie Paul. I told you. It missed the soft swinging with her friends during a live stream in May 2022. What soft swinging? No kissing. No kissing. Dog, get with the program, brother. What do you mean? Wait. Hardcore swinging is just kissing? They had, yeah. Wait, wait. I've been so misinformed. Wait, I don't know what you would call it. It's like some soft swinging, but you don't fully switch and go all the way. And to be honest, I did. We had an agreement like all of us, and I stepped out of the agreement, she said in the live video. So, like, she, like, kissed someone or something, and then now she's posting sad TikToks because she's out of the swinger group. Wait, they're hot? Yeah. Changes everything. And they're out of the swinger group now. It's awesome. The story. What, what the fuck is that? Whoa! Yeah. Was that the swinger group? Well, no, she got excommunicated from all of her friends <laughs> because she cheated on her husband and broke the rules of the swinger group. What's wrong with that baby? Why so do they all look the so same? So the rules were they could fuck, but they couldn't kiss? I don't know the rules. I'll be honest. What are the rules? <laughs> I wish we knew one. Can we call one? Can someone call Dakota Mortensen? She had an ectopic pregnancy. It's crazy. Yeah. But essentially... she. I bet she's anti-abortion. They like broke... They like they home wrecked each other. And then it was like a problem. And then she got charged with domestic violence. No. Taylor if it's a Frankie. double home wreck, technically, it's like not a home wreck, though. It's just a new home. No, but the other home didn't want to. Two new homes. Th- wanna, they didn't want to be a new home. Oh, oh, well, then, but then those guys are the sourpuss. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they're at fault. They are the really. sourpuss. Not, not Taylor. God, Mormons Well, are Taylor was a domestic abuser. <laughs> okay, that was not cool. You're right. And she wasn't a part of Fight Club, so it isn't. It does count yeah. when you're outside of Fight Club. All right, Hassan, I'm going to serve you up something that I don't want to talk about. What? Uh, what? But I think you will want to comment on it. What? There was recently a side men's soccer game. You didn't get invited. We've all been talking about it. Neither one of us got invited. Wait, what, why are um, people talking about that? Everyone on the internet was like, I can't believe Hassan didn't get invited. Why would I be invited to that? Um, they just kept saying L. <laughs> no, but listen, <laughs> I, one thing I will say. In a soccer match, you're rated a score out of 10. In uh-huh. the side men's soccer match, XQC received the lowest score <laughs> with a point three. Go Felix! Which is one of the absolute lowest scores you could he, receive. He saved a goal, though. As a player. He did. I don't want to talk about this. I have no interest in this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you serving it's, it up? Oh, it sounds like Because I feel it. like that's something you would want to talk about. I don't give a shit. I didn't watch it. Look at him go. Vacation. He looks he, good. He looks kind of hot. He looks hot, doesn't yeah, he? he? He looks hot. He looks the part. He yeah. Looks, he looks like John Luigi Buffon. Yeah, he does look like a soccer player. Yeah. yeah. He's like wiry and skinny with a big nose like a lot of those soccer players are. But they lost. He looks handsome, though. He is handsome. They lost and he was really sad. They also raised $3 million. That was great. Um, the gala uh, will not be done. Congratulations so, to the side men. Uh, side note. We've been promising something pe- for people for a long time. Yeah, basketball. What the fuck no, is going on? Basketball oh. is whatever. I don't give a shit. Are we playing soccer now? No, neither that. I think it's time to honor the traditions of your people. Uh, oil wrestling? Time for Turkish We're oil not wrestling. Doing that. You and I need to Turkish oil wrestle for charity. Mm. Oh, I thought you were going against the yard again. I was like, who do I get? Aiden? <laughs> Come on, let's do Turkish oil wrestling. Absolutely not. Let me fish hook your butthole. I don't want to do it. That's part of the reason why I don't want to do it. Fish <laughs> Big hook part your of the butthole. <laughs> it's an actual legitimate tactic. Ew. It's the gayest it's sport a, on the planet. Have you g- never seen Turkish oil wrestling? It's a way uh-uh. you get a good hand Mark, grip up. in there. That pull it up, sounds Mark. ouch. This is the national pastime of Turkey. I'm trying to raise some money for the kids. We have a gala. Show, show no that video. No one's going to give it. You already <laughs> told me your gala is going to be a Cutie? fucking flop. Cutie? <laughs> My God. Feast your eyes. I wish you were that announcer guy. I mean, we could easily raise a million dollars. That's me and Alinity. Just wrestling each other. I just want to point something out here. When do they. These guys, the unironically, like, none of them think this is gay. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! He just went to grab his. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a move. You have to shove because like your entire body's oiled up, so you have to. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hand. Yeah, he's Where's doing that it. hand going. So those are extremely tight leather pants that they're all wearing, yep. and bro, obviously in order bro. to manipulate, he's grabbing, he's grabbing his his ding dong. Bro. Yeah, in order to manipulate the other your opponent, like you don't have a gi. Bro. What is happening? This is beautiful and natural, cutie. It's not beautiful and natural. This is weird. Wow. There it is. The Turkish butthole hook. Why? How do you win? You hook their butthole real good. <laughs> Why are they? No one's even enjoying watching it. <laughs> like, what is? None of. Oh, my God. Yeah, these guys. <laughs> I thought Turkey was like very homophobic. They, they There's are. There's nothing gay about it. If you ask this those guys, so if you ask those guys, like, what do you think about gay people? They'd be like, what's a gay person? This, there's nothing gay about this. They'd be like, what's a gay person? That seems like it would be illegal. And I think disgusting. Hassan and I could save half the children on the Easter seaboard if we We're just did it. a good Oh Turkish my God, he's in his butthole. He's in his butthole. Yes, it's called chingal. It's called a hook. It's called chingal. It's not a gay. There's a term for it when you shove oh, your hand. Oh, sh he smelled his fingers, for sure. When you shove your hand in your uh, opponent's uh, leather pants, tight leather pants. Uh huh. And you arrive at his butthole, you can use his butthole yeah. to manipulate him physically. Ouch. And I actually have been, you know how uh, a lot of people have been training for chess boxing? You've been training for this? But I've, I've been working with a trainer. Oh. And my butthole grip is getting a lot this better. This is precisely the reason why I will never do it. Okay. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm just trying to honor the traditions. You don't care about Children Fight Club. Thank you. Shows. Thank no, you. I don't. Thank you. I almost died at Disneyland. You went to Disneyland again? I went... Thursday, f I went Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, actually, never mind. You went three days this week? Yeah, my family was here. My niece made this lovely little aerial. Oh, that's mine now. Um, yeah, my family was here, and so they go to Disney, and so then I go to Disney with them. Okay. And as you guys know, Disney has, you don't know this, <laughs> Disney does special seasonal menus. Oh, I know this. And right now it's Halloween. Fun. And so at Flo's Diner at Cars Land... I know, but they already decorated for Halloween. When are we going to go? I never get an invite. You'll call me to come take on your vicious home invader. I didn't call you. You thought about it. <laughs> I did think about it, but I didn't want to bother you. Um, We can go to Disney. You still have a promise. Uh -huh. I know. You're supposed to, you're supposed to take, I have been keeping myself pure. <laughs> Many opportunities have come up. Like, I know. Hassan, you need to go what down to Disney. Turkish oil wrestling at, <laughs> at Disney? Disneyland. <laughs> I found a place we could um, podcast at Disney. I found a perfect spot. Um, Let's do it. Well, I know we can do it. Let's let it cool down. The heat wave made it miserable. Speaking of heat waves, I was in Mexico this past week with my family, and we had a great time. Why are you doing that? It's, it's the worst episode because you don't want to hear about how I almost died. Oh. Go on. <laughs> we're struggling today. It's okay. Go Guys, on. forgive us. I'm very tired. I'm very tired. We're, I'm sorry. This tired. is exactly why I did that to you earlier. Yeah. This is full circle. Yeah. Okay, I go to Flo's fucking diner. It's in Cars Land, okay? And they have these special hab habanero chicken fingers. And I was like, can't wait to try those. That sounds like, delightful. And they're on top of these gross-ass ranch-covered fries. And so I have to take them off and wipe off the ranch. Ew, yuck. I hate ranch. And so then I order a separate thing of fries, but that doesn't matter. I go and I sit by myself because my family is doing Disney an animation where you learn how to draw characters. So they're off doing the drawing and I'm like, I'm going to eat my chicken fingers because they had already eaten. I eat a whole chicken finger. Wait, they wouldn't sit with you while you were eating? They were doing an activity. What the fuck? They were too busy abusing They children. had already eaten. They were doing child play clothes. They were collecting child play clothes. Child play clothes. Yeah. It goes hard They're at Disney. They're all tuned up on Dole Whip and Dude, they go Disney, crazy. Disney is like an arena. They do yeah. it in different places. <laughs> and the Disney arena yeah, goes Luigi's hard. Yeah, Luigi's car ride is where they, the <laughs> first Disney fight because of is after 10 p.m. You throw okay. them all in there. So you got your ranch so fries. I, I, got, I got rid of my ranch fries. Ew, yuck. And I'm sitting by myself out on the patio. And I eat a whole chicken. And then I check on my phone because Maya loves tomato, like sexually and romantically. She's what, obsessed what's with- that, What is that? What's like tomatoes? Tomato. What's tomato? What the fuck is that? Like tomato. What? Like, Stop repeating the word. I don't know what that means. That guy. That? Yeah. Wait, his name's Mater. I know, but he he he's, sometimes he'll be like, I'm tomato. I've never watched this movie. 
I've never watched this movie. What? You talk, you're such a fake, you're such a fake fuck, Hassan. <laughs> I'm you, sorry. You what? talk about fucking the cars and cars. You land do and talk about yeah. car pussy a You've lot. You've never yeah, even watched it. I've never watched it. You don't even know which the hot car is, the hot blue car. I don't fucking know. Sally, pull up Sally, the hot blue car. Oh, that's the, the Porsche. She's hot for yeah. me, but Tomato is hot for Maya. I'm okay. hot for Sally. So oh. you want to be in a lesbian relationship with Sally? Yeah, but Maya likes wow. tomato. Would you fuck the? Oh my god, that's pipe? me. <laughs> I so anyway, I'm on my phone you because fuck the cussy. don't know. You've never even watched it. I, I, I but I know, I know how it works. They have these tomato buckets that they sell uh-huh. <laughs> at Flo's Diner, but I mobile <laughs> ordered and it wasn't on there, <laughs> and I wanted to get the bucket for Maya. Because she likes tomato. And so I'm sitting there looking on the mobile app to see if I can order this. And I take a bite of my chicken and I choke. I straight up And you had up, no one at Disney. And, I'm and all you're alone, alone at Disneyland. At Disney? <laughs> Cutie, I'm not going to lie. I love you so much. You're the light of my life. You're one of my favorite friends. If you had died choking <laughs> On a chicken tender at Disney, I would have pissed my pants on top off. on it top would, of a tomato bucket. It would have been funny. <laughs> Just falls on the tomato bucket, <laughs> Just breaks her neck. Cinderella, <laughs> like, um, like a fucking like horror film. Just <laughs> that was the problem is I didn't have the tomato the, bucket yet because the family left her behind to do activities. <laughs> <laughs> Eating, <laughs> eating her seasonal menu. <laughs> so I shoot Lightning up. Lightning McQueen's <laughs> jizz fries. <laughs> it did look like that. I shoot up out of my seat, but I don't want to be dramatic and do like the choke symbol. You're dying. I know. Why would you not want to be I, dramatic? I like, wasn't sure. And so what? then, because I was like, I don't know. Because I used to have these things called the Ringo spasms where I would get really stressed and my throat would just close. Temporarily, I'd usually pass out and then I'd wake up again. What? It's called laryngo spasms. Honestly, like, I think Ringo I Star. Think like, what you need do you to do? Some drugs. <laughs> There's you really you have nothing to lose. No, laryngo spasms. It's long. Oh, story. laryngo. So I, I thought, thought you said Ringo. I've had the choking sensation before. I've never had food choking. So I shoot up and I'm like, oh my god. And I like, well, I'm not like, oh my god. I'm like, and it's like I can't breathe. And so I'm like, okay, may, try breathing out of your nose. Sure enough, can't breathe out of my nose. Right? Like I'm Why thinking not? in my head. Because I'm choking. She's okay. got her air passage. My blocked. air passage is blocked. By, by a habanero, seasonal habanero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by the, the chicken fingers. And this woman at another table, she's younger. She looks at me and she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm like. She heimlich no. you? I say I'm not okay. And so she starts yelling for her boyfriend. She's like, Jose, Jose, Jose. He runs over. And in, instead of heimlicking me right away, he just w- goes and whacks my back. And it was enough to like. Lodge. Yeah, well, just like, uh, and I kind of like regurgitated, and then I could breathe. Wow. Do you know how to do self-heimlich? Yeah, on the chair. Yeah. I thought about it. I was like looking at the chair, because I didn't want to like ask for help and be annoying. So I was like, <laughs> I was like looking. And You're then, dying. And yeah. then it's like, st- What's yeah. wrong with you? It was awful. Just. Then my throat hurt all day, and now I have this swollen lymph node, and I'm. Oh, so that's where the swollen lymph node came from. I don't know. Yes. Do you think habanero could do that? If it was lodged in your trachea? <laughs> it was bad. It hurt so bad. It was so yeah, bad all the, day. The I was crunchy coughing. crunchy deep fry of the tenders <laughs> scratch the inside of your throat. And then there's this whole time, mind you, I'm choking. Staff comes over. They bring me water. I'm like chill. And I'm like, oh, that was funny. And they were like. And then Did you get the tomato bucket? <laughs> I got the tomato bucket the next day. but What's in the tomato bucket? Nothing. It's empty. Isn't that stupid? Wait, what? Yeah. So, just pull, to have a bucket at your up. house? Marsh, it showed earlier. Tomato bucket. I don't at understand this. Oh, it's it's right there. I see it. It's the Disney Cars Tomato. See that? It looks like a toy almost. One more over. That guy. That's yeah. not a bucket. Oh, that's not. Oh. No, that's a die Okay, get vehicle. the bucket. Kids Mill, Flo's Diner, Tomato Bucket. So it comes with a Kids Mill, but they give it to you just empty. It's not full of, yeah, it's not full of popcorn or anything. It's just this stupid ass bucket. Maya loves it, though. I gave it to her today, and she said she really likes it. Maya's here? No, we recorded wine about it this morning, where I also told this story. But honestly, you guys were so dry for content, I had to reuse it. (laughs) We were doing just fine. Were we? You've been unloading trauma (laughs) all day. You literally started a conversation with, so this pedophile used to take me to the basement. Yeah. Yeah, that was in the episode we had to delete because this shit failed. 
You thank people, God. People would have loved the pedophile. You story. bumped the fucking roadcaster out. Um, <laughs> with your, well, with your childhood trauma. No, child fight club. Me, Mormon swingers. Me, choking. Me. You, you're carrying. You're what do you carrying. got? Ah, all right. You know what? Yeah. That's well, fine. I was going to talk about. I'll supervise. I was going to talk about a deep fear that I've had. Okay. The that ocean. For a very long. Yeah. There you go. Mm. A deep fear that I have officially conquered. Call me King Neptune it's because. It's called Uh Yeah. Thalassophobia. Thalassophobia. Just shut the fuck up. Okay. Well, I mean, it's just, yeah. It's, I'm uh, putting him in kid fight. I have <laughs> been. I have, I would destroy those They're kids. Beat the shit I would out fucking of you. ruin. Give me like 10 of them. I just fucking <laughs> one punch like five of them at the same time. It'd be sick. Um. Anyway. Yes, that's right. Uh, I was in Mexico with my family uh, celebrating my mom's uh, completion of her dissertation. Uh, we went to Cabo and a lot what? that happened. Are you fucking joking? Oh. Ah! Was good about it. All right, our equipment broke again, but we're back now. It didn't, it didn't break. break. We just stop it and restart it because we want to make sure that it's uh, good. Anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, I went to Mexico with my family sure. for a sure. celebration of my mother's dissertation completion. And we went to Cabo, uh, all-inclusive resort. Okay. Picked it all out. Flexing. Um, that's... No, I get I it. You're flexing. The, no, it's cool. I was just giving the details. We I, haven't gone. I'm sorry. Can I... <laughs> how would you do that? Huh? If we were to <laughs> next weekend go to an all inclusive resort in fucking Cabo, how would you get there? Oh my god, my mom's calling. I got it. That's go. so crazy. <laughs> Hi. It's yeah. been so long. <laughs> I meant to say dad, but mom. Yeah, now. you you just <laughs> use your dead mom. Uh, yeah. Shit. As a way to <laughs> segue away from uh, a potential Cabo anyway. stream trip. <laughs> so how was Cabo? You went very all human. exclusive. Did you get pina coladas? Yeah. Very human. I did not drink. Uh, well, actually, I did drink so a little bit of wine. Boring. No, 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 no. So Hold on. Boring. Let me explain. You get them virgin. So here's what happened. I land at the Cabo Airport, SJD, okay? And immediately, first I'm like, oh, my Pelican case that has like all of my equipment, streaming equipment, is not making it through. I'm like, I'm screwed, you know? I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, It was I see. fine. It was in a, it was in a large luggage uh, uh the large luggage area, which is different. Yeah. Pick it up. Get to Customs and Border Patrol. Customs and Border Patrol does this. One of these, like. Uh-oh. Like, okay. I go over there. Yeah. I go over there. He goes, what's in that case? And I'm like, uh, oh, so I don't cool. know. Just like electronic equipment that I have. In my uh, tomato bucket. <laughs> um, yeah, in my tomato bucket. <laughs> and he's like, what kind of electronic equipment? I was like, well, uh, I, have, uh, I have a monitor. Why don't they just open it? I have a monitor. Well, at this Sounds point, like this could be so much. Faster. I think there's like rules around it. Like, Customs oh. Border Patrol can't just like be like open it. They have to have probable cause. He goes, touch this button. I press the button. It lights up green. He goes, oh, got to put it in the X-ray. I got random searched basically what? by That's the Mexican so uh, Customs Border Patrol. Um, put it through the X-ray. They go, ho ho, you have a lot of electronic equipment. Turns out there's a uh, a tax in Mexico because a lot of people uh, bring in their cheap electronic equipment that they buy in america and sell it in mexico because in mexico electronic equipment have uh, a tax and it's very expensive oh so he's like you're selling these i'm like no you're like look at my he's YouTube like, channel. you're gonna get taxed he's like you're gonna get taxed i'm like what do you why what are you talking about he's like all this electronic equipment you have to get taxed you have to pay tax you have to declare it to the customs and i was like uh that seems weird then he shows me the fucking law and it literally says, like, you can bring your personal, uh, you know, you can bring, like, two cameras. Yeah. You can bring a, a, a laptop, like, a personal laptop, all this stuff. Mine is perfectly kosher, right? Because it's, like, uh, light, uh, microphone, and, and uh, monitors. Weird. So they're like, nope, you have to come with us. And I'm like, and at this point, I'm, like, very visibly frustrated. And I'm just, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm getting fucked. I'm getting yeah. extorted. Okay. Um, so I was like, I was definitely not chill about it where I was like, what are you talking about? Like, this is bullshit. This is fucking ridiculous. Like, what do you mean? This is my personal equipment. Like, I'm not doing anything with it. Like, this yeah. is, I've traveled all around the world with my personal equipment. It's been fine. This is the first time it's ever come up. And uh, so they're like, no, 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 you got to come with us. They take me to a separate room. Okay. 
and my mom is freaking out at this point. Yeah, so I'm like, she's I'm texting. Heard what you said about 9-11. Yeah, well, Mexico doesn't give a shit. Mexico is Uh-oh. like uh, 11-9, perfectly fine by us. Um, so uh, I, I take a quick like picture of where I'm at, okay? Because I'm like, I am like detained at yeah. Customs and Border Patrol. Like, fear not, I'll handle it. It's not a big deal. The guy fucking blows a gasket, goes, what the fuck are you doing? He like picks me up. Oh my God. And he's like, come with me right now. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He's like, no photos, no photos. You put your phone back in your uh, pocket right now. Picks me up, takes me outside. He goes, read that sign. And there's like this Xerox, like not even Xerox, sorry. There's this piece of paper that they printed out and then taped to the wall that says like, it's illegal to take photos and it's punishable with jail time and if $16,000 American Jesus. dollars. Jesus. If you take a photo inside of like the Customs Border Patrol, the detention oh, area. Oh, shoot. So I'm like, okay, I'll delete it. He's like, delete it, delete it. And I delete it. He's like, now delete it from your recently deleted area. Like, I was like, damn, these motherfuckers have done this before. Yeah, it was like the, not the their heck? first rodeo. They set me back down and the guy's like fucking yelling at me. He's chirping at me. He's like, it's $1,000. You have to pay me $1,000 in taxes. Like, He's like, $1,000 worth of taxes, sorry. Um, he's like, your electronic equipment, it's $1,000. I'm like, no, it's not. It's fucking two monitors yeah. that are like $100 each and a, a microphone and a light. Like, the total is like maximum $300, right? And it's out of the box, not like firsthand, you know, I'm not fucking selling it. Um, and he's like, prove it. I'm like, okay. And I go to take my phone out. He goes, if you take your phone out, I'm arresting you. And I'm like, okay, so how can I prove it to you? He's like, well, you should have thought about that beforehand. <laughs> He's like, it's $1,000. If you don't pay this right now, I'm taking your passport away and I'm arresting you. So I did. I paid the fucking, uh, I Damn. paid the fee. 90% tax on $1,000. His story was so much better than yours. <laughs> The, We're not hurting I, for content at all. I know. You're just spamming. <laughs> he just well, waited for me to finish this just so he could say that. I forgot to mention. No, that, I'm still on, on this story. Keep going. Well, it doesn't even end there. Uh-huh. Yeah, it doesn't end there. The, it doesn't I didn't end. finish either. Let him carry the The podcast. habanero chicken fingers were pretty mid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, uh, your much story, better. baby boy. Welcome huh? back. Welcome back to Fear Ann. Much better than wine about it. Can that you, podcast can sucks. You switch with the bear <laughs> with can Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Austin's had a lot of valuable feedback this yeah. episode. I he's, think yeah. the best he's ever done. Why is this yeah. sticky? Oh, Kaya. Kaya. Um, so <laughs> I, I pay the fucking fee and apparently there was another family behind me that was also detained and they Dude. came out and told me that they were like laughing and they were like, welcome to Mexico. Like they, they just like yeah. straight up dicked me down a little bit. Yeah. So I foolishly tweeted about it, and you can never tweet about things like this online. And immediately, Twitter was like, one, tax the rich, tax the rich. Everybody's, like, making the same joke. And I'm like, okay, got it. Funny the first time. Not funny, like, the 7,000. <laughs> Not funny when it's me! <laughs> no, no, no. I, it's a, it's the kidding. type of joke I'm that kidding. I would make. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Like, it's, it's perfectly valid, uh, which I also made in the in the comments, like, in the uh, follow-up comments. I was I'm like, just damn, hooking we're going to butthole, baby. So, butthole. but, like, these guys were, like, they, they wrote like a community note under it and they're like, actually, this is a real tax and there's no reason to believe that it was fake. And it's like, like dude, what are you doing? It's just a, like, you think I had exactly $1,000 worth of fucking electronic equipment? Like, get the fuck out of here. You don't, you weren't there. Like, it's why are you making It's crazy that they tell you to prove it and yeah. then they yeah. don't help you in but any I, way. But I do have, well, that was the point. It's just, they make up an arbitrary number and there's two ways out of it you either say oh okay like how can i pay to get out of this or you say just keep it or no 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 no. did you miss the united states what i did fucking freedom baby you know that's what i mean right. oh yeah that's freedom right freedom isn't free yeah. and that's why we built that fucking wall yeah which with my money yeah. with the money i gave to the mexican authorities yeah build it up I'm not, Keep him out. I'm not gonna. I'm way, high five. I'm way too Austin. white to high five on that. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen yeah that. it's natural. It's beautiful. Build a wall. Um, the so wall is natural. The I wall know. is literally paid by Mexico by uh, <laughs> Customs and Border Patrol. But oh, no. um, it's not. It's not that big of a deal. Like I've experienced this in Turkey, but uh, obviously, I because I'm Turkish. Like it doesn't happen to me. But if they think that I'm like American, they'll try to fuck with me, and then I, you know, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And it goes away. But, like, it was kind of funny to see, like, how similar Mexico is to Turkey in that regard. Wow. Well, I don't speak Spanish. I can't punk them. 
if I if I spoke Spanish, it would have been fine. I would have taken out double the money, given it to him, and been like, "You look like you need." I I did throw the credit card on the table. I was like, "Fuck it, here." Did you like, throw it hard. You, I was like, "Fuck put you." Put some English on it. Yeah. No, I did. I was like, "Ah, here, here, just you fucking take woman it." Pretty to them. You're like, I would have paid two. <laughs> Big no, I mean it, it, was, bum, bum, it was very bum, frustrating. <laughs> it was it was very very frustrating because like they were. That's awful. It's just it's the principle. It's like, dude, you know what we should do for a stream big. now? Let's smuggle electronics into Mexico and, and give them sell away. Sell them. Yeah, sell them. Sell them. Come on. I yeah. don't want to smuggle do electronics. <laughs> I don't want smuggle electronics. I don't want to do that. But uh, beyond that I shitty <laughs> experience, uh, it rained a lot. Uh huh. So I streamed a lot, and then on the last day, I had a wonderful day with my family stream i saw you and on a boat i conquered my fear of the ocean oh right that was how we started yeah we i got on a catamaran called tortuga tortuga that's turtle yes spanish Tortoise. exactly we went to the arc <laughs> the arch and uh there's a lover's beach and on the other side there's the divorce beach and the divorce Wait, beach actually? is named that way yeah because uh the is other side is this uh, one side is the sea the other side is the ocean and the ocean currents are so vicious that like they, they call it the divorce sea, so they kill people. Um, but the lover side is very it's calm because the, the sea. sea then. The yeah, I beach. I thought as well. I I thought that, that was weird as well. Really um, divorce. they should have called it the hater sea. But I saw a bunch of sea lions. That's uh, cool. I saw some turtles. It was sick. That's cool. And I swam in the ocean for a very long time. Swam really? my fucking butt off. Splish splashed. I did. Yeah, it was great. I did it. Now you converted. It. No. Oh. There were luckily not a lot of fish Do in you the have ocean in the part of the thrasophobia. No, you don't. Mm -mm. How are you afraid of everything but not like sea critters? The open, the mm. open deep ocean scares the fuck out. I of don't me. like it when um I I you know how I used to be Britney Spears on a on a cruise ship. What you didn't know that? Wait, wait, wait what? what? <laughs> I used to be Britney Spears in a legend show show on a cruise ship. And the Can worst. Can you sing us something? No, I was please, really bad. Please. I was she's not so even. I wasn't even just close. Just Say kiss me, bit. baby, one more time. Just no. no do, do it. She's so oh, bam, 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 bam. She's do it. a star. Come on, please. Yeah, talk. I don't believe her. I don't believe her. That's it. fine. I don't believe her. You don't have to believe me. Can I you do, say? Can you say that? Fine. Come on. Can you say? In the taste of the lips, I'm on a run. What would you do? Yeah, I did it. Hit me, baby, one more time. Give us a look. Do it. No. <laughs> hit me, baby, one more I time. I was so bad. Do well, it. Was, you do it. Content so carry if you do it. But, Marsh, just Google the video. What? There's, There's a video! video of you! There's a video of it! You're doing pretty What the fuck? How did you guys not know about this? Yeah! Oh, go on YouTube. Oh my God, it's so much sicker than Turkish World Wrestling. It's not good. I'm very tone deaf. Yeah, and that's why it's good yeah, for content. It's pretty rough. Yeah. Um, I've changed. Oh my God, I remember that I version of you. Where is it? I remember that version of you. This is objectively a better version of you. Wait, you were so video evil you with black hair. Yeah, oh. she used to be so sassy. You were so scary. She used to make fun of me all the time. Oh my God. Um, I think it must be in that I've changed video somewhere. I don't know where though. The, with the brunette hair, you're like... You would give like really mean penis reviews uh, or something. Like that's what you look like. That's not what I did. <laughs> I don't know where it. Sorry, I, I'm saying you could. That's so, I don't know. I don't know where it is. That's so weird. Then you guess you have to do it live. No, I. I oh, it, babe and if babe. You go and donate, if you donate 100 subs to my stream, it plays. I know it. Like we have the video. That's why I'm surprised it's not there. That's insane that that's like, you're, are you. Holding a monetary gun over our heads right now? What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'm live, boys. No, I, I no, don't no. Know. Seriously, come on. Come I don't. On. I don't know. Us. I'm surprised it's not coming up on YouTube. I don't know. Look up. Okay, we'll find it in the paywall. Brilliant She's idea, Marsh. So lucky. I have. All right, what She's cruise line were you? Uh, Carnival. And you were Brittany. Yeah. Okay. Dude, you've done some weird ass yeah, fucking jobs. Shit. Anyway, when you're on a cruise and you go out at night. And it's pitch black. Yeah. Oh. I don't love that. Did you get in the water? No, no, no. No, no. dude, you'll oh, die. Cutie, cutie, you no. are dead ass. You have thrasophobia. You can't get in the water. You're on a cruise ship yeah. in the middle of the ocean. I don't know. You work on the boat. You, 
Uh, you think you jump off and climb back up? When you're docked? No, you're not docked. That's what I'm saying. Also, I'm I don't saying... even think you can jump off even if you're docked. It's like pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it would be ve- it would be too high of a jump, nice. I think, for a non-professional diver to jump into. Anyway, you go it's like middle of the ocean because that's when they do most of their traveling. It's it, middle yeah. of the night and it's just empty. You can't see an island with lights. You can't, it's just pitch black and you just see the waves like kind of glistening off the cruise ship. And it's yeah, like, that's terrifying. That's, I yeah. went, I don't like that. Wakeboarding at night one time and it was in the ocean. Yes. It was Ooh, the like most that. terrifying thing I've ever, I don't even know if it's legal. Wait, where? Which ocean? The like California? The Jersey one. Oh. <laughs> Atlantic. Yeah, I, you're not supposed. I mean, they have all those signs that are like, "Don't go in the ocean." After it's, you want to hear something crazy, that's Mormon. Yeah, is Mormons when you're on your mission, they tell you to avoid the ocean. What? Yeah, when you're on your mission as a missionary, you're supposed to avoid the ocean. Why? Um, specifically, I I don't know. It's something like there's something with the devil in the ocean. I'm amending my story. Why do? Uh-huh. Why do it Mormons- was in a lake? It was in Lake, lake Michigan. Oh, that's still scary. Yeah. But Lake Michigan was actually like I remember. That's the Mormon. When, well, that's the no, one no, no. that Mormons are supposed to avoid. <laughs> no, <laughs> what you're doing. Is like, you can. Uh, it's like especially at night or something. I don't remember. Can but you look this up. Why do Mormons avoid uh, the ocean? Only missionaries. Why? Not normal Mormons. I don't know. I had a cousin that went to. Uh, I want to say I Michigan. Love, it was, whenever March. Whenever March spells shit <laughs> is so bad. He wrote missionaries with like a Y. There's a Y yeah, in there. He's got the Billy Rave braids. Oh yeah. It's so funny every time. Yeah. Uh, oh. Why are LDS missionaries instructed to stay away from bodies of water? Mm. I saw a post recently on LDS missionaries. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> on Christianity.com. LDS missionaries are instructed not to go swimming. Commonly, this idea is misunderstood to be for the entire Mormon population, which is not true. Yeah, it's just missionaries. Nevertheless, I suffered it that ye might bear record. Behold, there are many dangers upon the waters, and more especially hereafter. For I, the Lord, have decreed in mine anger many destructions upon the waters. Ye, and especially upon these waters. What the fuck? What do you, why? why oh, they're they? afraid of sea monsters. I don't they're know. They're afraid of sea monsters. Okay, that's like Mormonism 1, every other religion 0, though, per, for real. Because, like, sea monsters are terrifying. I don't know. Have you ever why? seen an angler fish? Oh, God. Don't even Have you ever seen an Are those ang- the creepy ones? Wait. Yeah. They just don't want them to. Angler fish, I think, are the scariest thing on the planet. Yeah, they're scary with their glossy eyes. Or their and it's just teeth. like all, all manner of fish. Ah, dude. But oh, the one fuck. I'm finding Nemo, so cute. Look at him. No. You know what's really interesting about angler fish? I don't even know if you know this. There are dimorphic species, and the female is that one. That's the one we all know. And the male is just like a little guppy. And what really? happens is he latches onto her, like her basically back end and becomes a pair of vestigial testicles. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, the wolf and the bulldog hunter go one up, yep. go one above, one so to the right, one to the right. It, it, Ew, look at him. They're so symbiotic. They almost Show become that. like hermaphroditic like, because he that. grows onto her skin. That's weird. Yeah. I would let Simp. I would let Ludwig grow on my skin Lamau, and become Simp. a vestigial pair of testicles. Yeah, so we hang out all the time. Yeah, fish are fucking disgusting, and they freak me the fuck out. They smell bad, and also mm-hmm. we should respect their you know area. Like, don't go into their homes. So I should for your date that you're auctioning off at the gala. I should say a fishing date with Hassan. Fuck no. Late night ocean swim. Late night ocean swim with Hassan. Yeah, so we can both die. That's what'll happen. Um, yeah, no, it's just I I tackled my fear, but also not really because like I am still afraid of the deep ocean, like the open ocean. Uh, Are the dates at the gala? No, no, the different thing. They buy them at the gala. You don't understand. They buy them at the gala. You don't understand the process. You go, you you auction off a date, and that date is actually streamed. Yeah, Uh. that date is actually streamed at a later date. Yeah. That's her idea. Oh, you're slutting yourself out for the, the for the gorillas. Just buy yourself, and then you don't have to do anything with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> A jerk off sesh with Will now. <laughs> oh, five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, I actually don't have a lot of people that have agreed to be not auctioned, and you mm. guys didn't mm. agree. You just got. I forced. wonder why. Mm. Really, mm. I think it's fun. I'm auction. I'm getting auctioned. I'm gonna win that and make you do something terrible. You, but it's a baking lesson with Cutie Cinderella. Uh, we're going to bake math. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's that's fun. I actually one person that I messaged today to get auctioned was Blouse Toys. And he's like, he was like, I can't wait to see how much Austin's going to spend on me. And I was like, bitch, Austin's cheapest to hoe in the whole yeah. world. He's not going to buy you. It's true. He's going to be way more concerned on what gets spent on yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Blau's going to get fucked when he goes up there and Austin doesn't bid. And then it's just like, no one bids on Blau. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think that about does it for this week's free episode. If you want the freemium content or the premium content, rather, go Why'd to patreon.com. Premium. Patreon.com slash fear end. I don't fucking it's know. It's not free. It costs $5. I'm so tired. It costs $5 for tier costs one. It costs $5. And we're going to on the, we're gonna take our toes and we're going to latch them like holding hands. That's we what have done Kitty, that. We, we're going to do, can do that. You can't do that. What? We've also done that. Kitty, people on the internet will have a field day with that. We have to. Which is why she's going to do it behind the paywall. No, That's we right. Putting, we are putting burkas on her feet. <laughs> what the hell? The internet's a fucked up place. Bye, guys. Do it. Oh, baby, baby. That's not how you do it. Cutney Spears. Cutie Cinderella. I was right. Oh, yeah, that's me. No. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. It's. It's bad. You're such a mean girl with that hair. I can't even get over it. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like a different person. Look at the picture. Do you feel like you had a different happened. personality with that hair? I had a different persona on purpose, but I was the same person. Play the oh, I'm so no, bad. It's actually so no, bad. No, 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 no,